हरि ओम चिल्ड्रेन होप आल आर वेल एंड गुड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्लास लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ अ प्रेयर जॉइन योर हैंड्स क्लोज योर आईज सिट स्ट्रेट चैंट ओम मंत्र थ्री टाइम्स Take a long breath. Om. Take a long breath. Take a long breath. Om. Om. Sahana bhavatu. Sahano bhunaktu. Sahabi. we are going to see about what is pollination the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of a flower is called as pollination there are two types of pollination self pollination and a cross pollination what is meant by self pollination self pollination is also known as autogamy auto means self the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a same flower or another flower self pollination self pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same plant cross pollination cross pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of the one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same kind we know the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is called as pollination the pollination are two types one is natural pollination and another one is artificial pollination this meant by natural pollination in nature there are many ways the pollination occur which the pollen grain reaches the stigma of the flower and it is through nature it is called as natural pollination by the insects by the air by water etc so the natural things carry the pollen grains from anther to stigma is called as natural pollination artificial pollination we transfer the pollen grains from male flower to the female flower this is called as an artificial pollination the artificial pollination done by the human we are going to see about fertilization how the fertilization occur yes the male gamete fuses with the female gamete and to form zygote This process is called fertilization. How the male gamete reaches to the female gamete? Yes, through pollination. The pollen grains reaches to the stigma. What happened to them after this? The substance produced on the stigma causes the pollen grain to germinate. The pollen grain reaches the right stigma and begin to germinate during the germination 
a tube develops from the pollen grain that carries male gamete and reaches to the female gamete inside the ovary through the style the male gamete moves towards the female gamete the fusion of the male and female gamete is called as fertilization it produces the zygote the male gamete reaches with the female gamete and it starts to fuse this process is called fertilization what is meant by fertilization children the fusion of the male gamete with the female gamete this process is called as a fertilization fertilization the zygote converted into fruit now with that observation shall we listed the changes takes place in a flower after fertilization that is called as a post fertilization change after the fertilization some of the changes happen in the flower that is called as post fertilization what are the changes in that post fertilization process first calyx sometime persist with fruit petals wither or fall off androecium fall off pistil remain and develops into fruit which part is develops into fruit the pistil and the ovary changes into fruit pistil remains and develops into fruit style and stigma fall off ovary enlarges and store food materials and develops into fruit ovule present inside the ovary develops into the seed which part is develop into seeds yes ovules converted into seeds we are going to see about some vegetables and the fruits how from the flower it will come as a fruit in brinjal after fertilization sepal will not fall from the fruit and remain a persist in the fruit this finger also like brinjal after fertilization sepal will not fall from the fruit and remain with the fruit custard apple is a aggregate fruit it is made up of um, many fruits aggregated together each fruit part is thin membranous with some granule like which is edible in mango outer skin is middle bulky and are edible and sweet innermost with a single seeded see p fruit is not fleshy but forms a covering pouch like structure with many seeded fruit in all above fruits ovary a lower most swollen part of a pistil develops into a fleshy fruit ovule present inside the ovary gets transferred into seed we recall children what we studied we studied about the pollination and types of pollination natural pollination and artificial pollination then self pollination and cross pollination then we studied how the fertilization occur how the fruit is formed after that fertilization what are the changes happen in the post fertilization thank you you know children how the flower develops into fruit is yes, because of the process called fertilization what is mean by fertilization the fusion of male gamete with the female gamete is called as fertilization it forms zygote here the male gamete is pollen grains the female gamete is ovule to understand the process of fertilization in flowering plants let us first see all the floral parts 
thalamus or receptacle provides the attachment place for the different floral bulbs. Sepals make the outermost whorl. They protect the flower during the bud stage. Petals are generally brightly colored to attract insects for pollination. Anther and filament make the male reproductive part of the flower known as stamen. Stigma, style and ovary make the female reproductive part called the pistil. In the ovary are ovules. In an ovule is an embryo sac and in the embryo sac is an egg. During pollination, the pollen grain comes to lie on the stigma. The pollen grain has two layers. The outer layer is known as exine and it is made up of a substance called sporopollenin. The inner layer is thin and is known as intine. At some places, exine is thin. These areas are known as germ pores through which will emerge the pollen tube. Pollen grain has two cells. The smaller cell is known as generative cell which will divide to form two male gametes. The larger cell is known as the tube cell which will give rise to the pollen tube. The embryo sac has three cells towards chalice. These cells are known as antipodals. There are two nuclei in the middle called the polar nuclei. Three cells are towards the micropyle. The middle larger cell is known as the egg. Two smaller cells are called the synergids. The egg and the two synergids would form the egg apparatus. The pollen tube emerges from the germ pore. The haploid generative cell divides to form two male gametes. The pollen tube enters the embryo sac through the micropyle. It enters through the degenerating synergic or between the egg and the synergic. The first male gamete fuses with the egg to form a diploid zygote. This process is known as fertilization. The second male gamete fuses with two polar nuclei to form a triploid endosperm nucleus which will change into endosperm cell. The fusion of three nuclei is known as triple fusion. Endosperm will divide later on to form nutritive tissue which will provide nourishment to the developing embryo. The process of fertilization and triple fusion together is called double fertilization. Thank you children. Shall we do the eye exercise? Before closing our class, shall we do eye exercise children? Yes. Everyone sit straight. Do the eye exercise. Chat.
वर्तते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शांति शांति शांति